Welcome back everyone. I know how you love to see the progress of clients who are having issues with their toenails and today you will see how consistent care with professional meticulous manicurist brand pedicure tools can reverse and restore your toenails. My channel is for educational purposes to help people with self-care that everyone needs all over the world, especially those having an issue with their toenails. This content is not created for shock value. I hope you visit meticulousmanicurist.com forward slash shop for all your pedicure needs. The before and after photos showing her progress are amazing. So enjoy. Some of you might not know what it means when this message pops up about big toes only version of this pedicure linked in the description. I have a second YouTube channel that is only concentrates on the big toes. So if you only like to watch the relaxing versions with no talking and you just like to concentrate on the big toe cleaning, then just search for meticulous manicurist and you'll see my other channel. I get questions all the time asking why I use my toenail nippers instead of clippers and if you notice when I trim her toenails every single time I squeeze to remove a section of the toenail it does not flex the toenail. So I have a video just describing what happens when you use the toenail clippers and um, you can find that. I'll, I'll try to remember to link it in the description, but it is in my video list. Just search why I don't use toenail clippers. We've recently added another version of this stainless steel nail file. It is in coarse and I use it to file rough areas on the tips of the toes, around the toes, in between the toes. You can even use it for small areas on the heels. Sometimes people get that pinched callus right on the ball of their foot, or the side of their foot. So if you're going to place an order, um, you can choose between the fine grit and the coarse grit. Did we have to go a few extra weeks this time because of my schedule? Okay. No, did we? Was yeah. It? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll try to squeeze that sooner. Okay. 
Oh, they do, don't they? <laughs> I can't wait to compare the pictures from the first visit. If you haven't seen the first couple pedicure videos of this client, this product that's on the tip of her toenail is an acrylic band that we used to hold the toenail in its widest position. So as it grows up, the pincer nail will stop digging into the sides of her toe. So I'm going to buff that off and decide if I'm going to put another band of acrylic at the base of her toenail, which I do. Oftentimes there is enough moisture in the nail plate to make the dust particles really big, but if you can look off to the left a little, you can see them flying in the air, some floating around, and at that point I put on some of the nail mycosis product because it will coagulate all of those dust particles so they don't come up in the air yeah. and I'm not in any danger of inhaling them and in my course I teach you all about the size of dust particles and microns and stuff like that. Straighten all the way out. <clears throat> 
This week's most liked comment is from Psychedelic Pegasus. They say, Hi Lori, I wanted to let you know that this evening I used the cuticle remover for the first time ever. I used it on a corner of my toenail that was starting to hurt. In no time at all, I was able to remove a spike that was causing the issue because the buildup was softened and was easily wiped away. I felt so excited and very professional, haha, the moment I used the dropper. Who knew? Toenail maintenance could feel so great. Trick question. Well, we all knew that. Thank you so much for your videos. You're very welcome. Don't forget to leave me a comment today to see if your comment is the most liked and will be featured in one of my upcoming videos. Oh my God, you should have seen him yesterday. Covered in hair color and then I had to go to the warehouse and pack stuff for the trade show. Mm -hmm. It looked like they had been stuck in plaster of Paris and all dehydrated. The skin was all nasty. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing them until tomorrow because they'll just get trashed. All the cardboard and open and closing boxes. How long are y'all going to be there? Oh, just for three days. Uh oh This is for all of you nail technicians watching. My in-person pedicure class for 2023 will be again at the nail tech event of the Smokies Trade Show in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. My class will be on Saturday, July 8th. You can get your tickets on meticulousmanicurist.com forward slash shop. Get them early as they sell out fast. And the Nails Only Trade Show will be on July 9th. The ticket for the show is separate from my class, and you can purchase that on nailtechevent.com. We hope to have a new product line ready by then, and I'm excited to share it with you. It's been a tremendous amount of work trying to juggle my workload, business responsibilities, and moving our warehouse to Arizona, but I haven't lost my marbles yet, so we're good. And we should be on schedule to launch that. So get your tickets again today at meticulousmanicurist.com com forward slash shop.
you'll see me use the stainless steel file to file the skin on the tips of her toes. This is why I developed the coarse file. The fine file will do the job. It takes a little bit longer, but the coarse file works much better. Nobody wants to cook dinner at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. I that work. You want me to come outside and you know how to sweat it all day, you know? I, then I get in a car that's 100 degrees yeah. once you get in there. Yeah. And I'll just be ready to sit down. Uh, you know, get it. <laughs> he ain't work, work a lot. Where, you know, right. you come home. He just wants to sit still. How old is he? Yeah, he's old, he's old enough. Old, <laughs> he's full. He ain't had my cooking in a minute, so. I delete them and then they pop back up when somebody else responds. I'm like, how do you get out of this? And it'd be hours later. <laughs> you talk about where everybody at. Only one person respond. Talk about, <laughs> about roll call. Where y'all at? Talk about I'll start. I'm headed to clinical. <laughs> then, uh, then the dog. Okay, and you can just put that one flat. Uh -huh.
Remember, I do have a caregiver's course for anyone who is taking care of a loved one at home who can't travel to a salon or to see someone who's on my global network map. You can take a course to learn how to safely use the electric file on your loved ones. So see that at pedicuretraining.com forward slash at home training. Anyone who is using another product on the toenails as a brace, using an acrylic band will save you time and money. And I literally just apply this product to her toenail in 30 seconds. So please think about your bottom line when deciding what to use on clients. Lately, and we I feel will like be discussing this at the dark. trade show this year as well. Like I used to be able to see over here, now I feel like I need a light underneath that shelf. <laughs> How old is your mom? She is about to be 81. Oh, wow. All Sunday. That's great. She is 7 11, baby. Oh, my goodness. I think it's because she was a nurse. She's still moving around. Oh, yeah. You know, I think when you walk, and walk, and walk is a part of your job. It's kind of hard to stop even when you get older. Mm hmm. That's how I'm going to be Energizer Bunny. Mm -hmm. Cause I show see people with they, they 90s where I work at, still getting around, still getting themselves up.
straighten all the way out. Oh. Time for the good part, huh? Mm -hmm. to that store and find me some more. Where'd you get those at? They, I was like on Uber at like six ninety six, and it's, it was a little shoe store. All the shoes was less than ten dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, I think I might have paid five or six dollars for them. Cute. Mm -hmm. I can't buy any more slippers. My dog keeps stealing them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I find them out in the yard. I'm like, what are you doing? It's the smell. My cat the same way. She what? licks them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh. The bottom of our shoes got the scents and smells and taste of out. So yes. they round. And they love it. They love it. <laughs> they love it. My flip flops. Oh man. One cat I went to Georgia. And that cat just slid all over because it had that red clay on the bottom of it. Oh my gosh. And he just licked and slapped and salivated and rubbed them shoes all over himself. Maybe they're mineral deficient. Maybe they need a multivitamin. <laughs> oh, not not my girl cat, the one I got done. She loves to stick her head in my work shoes. Oh, funny. Sleep. She just love the way my feet smell. I guess the sweat. That's all. Yeah. I guess. You sweat sweetness. Yes, <laughs> it must. Cause she, she love it. She love it. Yeah, I think cats and dogs just love that. Cause it's not about they feet smelling. Cause my, I had a roommate when I had the boy cat. He loved the black socks. That man was so clean. His feet never stink. Right. But my cat, he loved his Love socks his and shoes. <laughs> it's just incredible. My goodness. It's incredible. I don't know. It is fun sharing stories about the funniest things our animals do, our cats and dogs. Um, tell me something funny that your cat or dog has done lately in the comments. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. You squeeze that back part of that know, heel. Right. Oh. I said, hey, what you doing? 
up here was like, I, man, I'm tripping. I sat up here, I woke up floating. I was like, floating? You go to the basement and the bed was floating. Oh. It had flooded so bad that he was literally floating. <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh, just so not in front of people's houses, all you see is couches, TVs, clothes, shoes, anything that was on the floor. But people gotta remember, basements ain't necessarily made for things to be on the floor. It's mm -hmm. they supposed to be on shelves, so mm -hmm. just such a thing. Even if your basement flood through your own house, mm -hmm. you know. I hope their homeowner's insurance covers Or FEMA. I think FEMA is going to help a lot of them. Because, you know, that's an act of God. And I remember that night, like I say, I go, sometime I get home and I, I just fall asleep. So if I get an hour in, I'm up for hours after that. From 12 to 3.30, it rained consistently. It yes. never stopped. And it rained hard. Right. How fast it was coming down, it never stopped for three and a half hours. Me and I was on the phone talking, you know, and because I, yeah. I, I think it woke me up because it was raining so hard that oh, it yeah. had started raining in my kitchen. It was raining sideways. Yeah. I had to get up, go mop before I could even get to the windows to close the windows. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but thankfully, I'm in an apartment and it was on the floor, you know, and it, and it right. woke me up, but... I mean, for three and a half hours, it rained consistently hard as I don't know what. I was trying to sneak to the stove. <laughs> You're like, I want to go. At I'm about 12, at about 12, I was thinking about, I was like, oh man, I can run to the gas station right good. I'm like, can I get out of this house? <laughs> and it just seemed like as soon as I see it, that it just started raining harder. And it just never <laughs> let up. I was like, well, so much for a pop. Mm -mm. 12 o'clock at night. I didn't need to go out there no way. <laughs> But yeah, it's bad. People still trying to get their stuff together on that though. Yeah, it's sad. The before and after photos are coming right up to show you the progress from her first and second and third visits. I really appreciate you being here and tuning into my videos. I hope you will help me spread the love and click that share button to let your friends know where they can find help. We even started selling gift certificates to our website. That would be a great holiday gift for someone who might need some supplies. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Take care of yourselves.